I have the game and the converter. So nothing else in the package. So let me go ahead and put this together while you watch so I can see so we can both see basically what the issue is. And like I said, I'm hoping that um, if it is an issue with the game itself or the converter, we'll be able to find out as I, as I have. Um, let's put stuff in here. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Uh, okay, so there's some money for return shipping, so I'll go ahead and use that for that. So here's the converter and the game uh, so <clears throat> when I tested out the unit um, you saw that it was working properly and I tested it on my uh, top loader which is this one here. and I'm gonna be putting it in the same one that I used and this is the one that, that does not have the um, expanded audio so on yeah there's nothing wrong with the game so nothing wrong with the game nothing wrong with the converter <clears throat> I don't know what happened uh, when it got shipped to when the system got shipped to you like I said if you if you are able to play the other games uh, on your NES console most likely <clears throat> um, I'm thinking that the uh, we talked about the resistor that was soldered on top might that might have come loose or it might be it moved to somehow and it's touching some of the other pins that are on top of it however like I said if it's working that means there's something going on with that with the unit itself so um, since this is working I don't know if, I don't think there's any need to go any further do any further testing um, I mean, I can test a game, another game on the converter, but uh, if it's if it's working, then it's not the, it's not the system. I mean, it's not the uh, the converter or the game. It's the the system itself. working this is a another one of my Famicom games so converters working there's your original game so uh, we'll, I'm gonna send you this video and we'll have to discuss on what we need to do uh, thereafter okay All right, bye